Hey guys, Jess Halleck here. Do you notice anything different about me? <laughs> I have my bang piece in. So a lot of you, we first showed you the bang piece with a brunette and you're like, how's it look on a blonde? What's that like? So I wanted to show you, I have two. This is my shorter one that I've cut um, so that I can wear it a little further forward and have more of a bang. Um, I didn't want like a bang bang. So, I mean, you could definitely still cut there and have more of a bang or just more textured in the front, but personally, I just didn't. So I have this one, which is a little bit shorter, and then I have the other one that I've left the full length because they come 12 inches long. That is a lot of length. So like, if you leave one uncut, it comes down to like about here, which is great for filling in your sides and for styling. So that's what I use it for. So I can put it on top of my head for like doing a little bun or I can clip it in on the side and incorporate it with a, a braid. Um, there's so many things I can do with that one. And this one is more just for like texture and volume and all of that. So, well, I'll take it off for you and show you how it works. Okay, so here's me normally. Um, okay, so when you have yours, the tag is the back. So a lot of you are like, which way does it go? Is there a wrong way? Does it matter? Yes, it matters. So the tag is the back. And then when we talk to you, we ask where you part it, where you're gonna be wearing it, um, or if you're just gonna be wearing it for the back for like volume, then we'll just part it down the middle. Um, but keep that in mind. So this one, we have balayage, mine. Uh, I haven't put any product in it yet because I wanna show you how I do that because your hair on top, what makes things look real or not is texture. So that means that it doesn't look silky, soft, smooth because no one's hair looks like that. <laughs> so we wanna add some grit, some, some texture volume, and anyway, so this is where we're gonna start. So I've curled this one on my head before. When you first get your bang, you want to put it on and start styling it with your hair, imagining that it is your hair. I feel like most of the initial experience with a bang is that it's the psychological like, oh my gosh, it's not my hair. Does everyone know and whatever. And then eventually once you get comfortable with it, then you kind of don't care and you learn how to work with it. So I'm gonna clip it. I normally clip mine a little further back, but the most important thing is you want to line up your part, okay? I am sitting in front of a window, so it kind of uh, messes with tone exactly, but, okay. So there was two clips on the side, and I just kind of went like this and then clipped it down. So if you're clipping on thick hair, you don't want to put too much in the clip because it's a clip, so you might not be able to do a lot of hair and have the clip closed. So. If you're pushing it down and you're like, it's not closing, put less hair in it. So if you have fine hair, great, you won't even have an issue. But if you have thick hair and you're doing this, just keep that in mind. So tips when you first put it on. Most people that we found that are wearing these, they're not wearing them right up against their hairline, they're putting it right behind it, which is what I recommend because if you can have the first few hairs be your natural, that makes a huge difference. But we can do it forward, that's fine too. So I would comb out my fronts, make sure they're sitting in front, because then from this view, obviously seamless. On the top, so you'll see that it's opaque. It's, if we don't do a rooted one, then it'll be uh, more see-through right here, but it is opaque when we color it. So I wear this thing all the time. That's why I'm saying it's like a mental, it's a mental thing. So adding in textured layers through the top, just so it's not like flat. Like we don't wanna wear it like this because obviously that doesn't look very, it looks fine forward, but like top down it doesn't. So you wanna take your comb and comb your hair that's right behind the bang out. Make sure it's not like tucked into it because that's very easy to do. Okay. And then this is a game changer, especially for the blonde ones, is that you wanna add a dry shampoo. Honestly, I have like five different ones. I'm not married to any of them. Just get a dry shampoo. And if you're, let's say you have a fresh highlight and we, we more balayage your bang and you want it to look a little bit lighter at the root because you went all the way up, even though you know in a few weeks it'll grow a little bit out, you can use like a powdered dry shampoo or a spray one that has a powder. Um, and put it up in your root and it will lighten it. 
you know what I'm saying? If you were to do it on your own hair, you would it would lighten your root color a little bit. The same thing with these topper pieces. So I'm gonna do it on me. And I don't need to do this every time, it's just really like the first few times that I wear it. But these types of pieces, like this one, the fall, the ponytail, if, they have, if they're a little bit dirty, the better. So spray it in there. And it's so funny because it seems like it's not a lot of hair, but when you start playing with it, you're like, oh my goodness, there is so much to work with. I couldn't imagine having more than this. It's hard to do it like a camera. I'm like, am I even spraying my hair? <laughs> okay. So you spray a little bit in there and then you wanna like work it in. So if you did like the powder dry shampoo, just kind of tap it in and section it out and get some like grit in there because what we wanna see, I don't know if you can tell, can you see? There's like little wispies, that's what you want. That's what makes it camouflage because as long as you see like texture, you, you don't even think about it. And I feel like these rules mainly apply to blondes, but brunettes, absolutely. If you're like, I want it to look more lived in, do this. So I have texture in there. If you want, you can tease the hair right behind the bang so that it comes up a little bit, especially if your hair is like baby, baby fine, or if you're trying to cover some, you know, some thinning on top, then you can um, tease it a little bit, or if, also tip, if you are thinning quite a bit and you're like a dark brunette or a really darker, dirty blonde, grab the root sprays. And honestly, I would check out the ones from Unite. I have loved the colors because they're, they're just normal colors. They like, they just don't look fake. So I would put a little bit, like our, um, when you've seen Lindsay do hers and she's a dark brunette, when her roots start to grow out, she's actually a blonde. So she'll just do her root spray like on her root and like in front of and behind her bang, world of a difference. So if you're, if you have some gray growing out and we have a bang that obviously doesn't have gray in it, um, just put a little bit of root spray on the very front of it, a little back of it, no problem covers. And if you're super thin, do the root spray and it like looks like there is some more hair there than is. Um, yeah, there's just, just little things, just work with it. That's why I like that this piece is smaller than the fall because the fall has like a much bigger circumference, which is great to cover your entire head. But to have a piece that's not so intimidating that you can manipulate a lot more easier. Like I can wear it forward or I'm gonna clip it back so that you guys can see because I know a lot of you are like, I just need volume, you know? I love this thing. <laughs> so let me clip it a little further back so you can see. So, okay. I'm gonna clip it, where's my part? Again, that's always the most important part. Okay, so I'm gonna clip it further back. And the, remember the piece is like a little rectangle? So when you're having to blow dry it yourself, hold it in your hand and blow dry it in a circle. Just kind of like, unless you have like a hard part that you're working off of, but if you're gonna wear it back here for styling or like you're not super particular about the part line, then just blow dry it in a circle because you want a little bit to go back, a little bit to go forward and on the sides. And this, like, I don't get volume on my top. I feel like I always have to choose. I either have a lot of volume here or a lot of volume on top and then I'm thin here. So right now I'm not wearing a halo. I also want to show you it with a halo, but just for a visual, this is to give me volume in the back. Personally, I would either tease it a little bit or I'd add like just a little bit more layering if that's what I was going to wear all the time. Um, but <laughs> I pulled it back and I was like, oh man, you can see my tan line. <laughs> so we're not going to do that. Okay. But uh, if you wear it further back, you can... And I wanna do more videos showing you guys the styles, but this is when I, I prefer to have the bang not cut at all, just so I have a few extra inches of length. But you can pull this up. And a lot of us have broken pieces on top. And so like we have really short layers and our length is longer on the bottom. We feel like it looks like a mullet. This is a great way to balance out your top and bottom is because you can have all this hair in a bang piece and do like a cute, 
like bun something or like a half up or um, I've sold these to people who have really fine hair all over and they'll put this right where I have it and then pull their hair up in a ponytail and it's just enough like extra that they needed and it makes a huge difference. So I do want to show you it with my halo piece really quick. Okay, here is my halo. Uh, just for reference, this is an 18 inch layered that I have cut to a 15, 16 or so. Uh, I love, love, love this length because it's my like happy medium of long and, and medium, I don't know. <laughs> so I know you're gonna ask, so now you know. Um, all right, so I have this in and I have so much thick full all through here, which I do love, but if I wanted to like also have the top, I'm gonna make sure the tag is on the back. So this is going forward. I have my clips open. I'm gonna line it up with my part. And then I'm gonna go like this, scooch in and clip down, okay? And then grab my comb, comb my little hairline out in front. Comb the hair out in the back, make sure nothing is tucked in. And then if I wanted, I could add some texture spray or root powder in there just for some extra oomph. Um, but honestly, that's why I've loved the root sprays that Unite has come out with because like so many of us are doing the lived in color, the smudged root, you know, and so a lot of us have our regrowth in there. So I've been liking that to just like as my, cause it has texture in it. So it's almost like putting a dry shampoo in your hair, but it's pigmented. So there's lots of brands by the way, but I just, of course, am partial to the Unite Link sets by Carrie. So here we go. Balances out my top with my bottom. I have lots of volume. These are weightless, just so you know. Like can't feel a thing, very comfortable to wear all day. Um, they're just fun to play with. A lot of you who have gotten one um, in the last like month or two have already asked for another one just for like a different style, different cut. There's so much you can do with them. And I could even do a more dimensional one on top or I could just do a rooted and not like so balayaged. There's, it's endless, it's great. So, and also you can pull this out in a circle and just cover like those spots that if you have thinning or balding, uh, that's really easy to do as well so i hope that helped let me know specific questions that you have i'd love to answer them and i'm so happy they came out with this piece because it's applicable to everyone instead of you know just the people who wanted the falls so i love it i need to stop talking because i just keep staring at it so <laughs> anyway oh and if you haven't heard of these before i will put a link in the description that you can uh, fill out an inquiry form so i can reach out to you directly and get some pictures talk to you about your goals with your hair and then uh, decide what the customizing plan is. These have to be customized no matter what. So there's quite a process that goes into you receiving yours and we do it virtually so that I can ship them out to you. So there you go. Let me know if you have any questions. I love it. <laughs>